So this is the dining area. Um, this table could expand so we can get all the head guests around it comfortably. Um, we've got some platform here, we've used to lift the tender. Um, tender will be into a chair. And so I'll come around to show you the bag. On this boat we carry two paddle boards and a kayak um, along with a knee board, water skis and we have a donut. Normally we'll also have lots of bean bags here but we're just having them replaced at the moment. We've got this really nice seating area which can be accessible for both the um, cabins up on the deck level. Rain shoes, fly bridge. So this is our tender, um, nice comfortable boat and there's a ladder so we can get guests in and out of it easily um, from the water. So this is a flybridge, this is probably the biggest attraction really on this boat. Um, there's plenty of space, you can comfortably get everybody sat up here. We have lots of coolers, so we can have a wide selection of drinks that are kept cold and ready to go. We also have an ice machine up here, a fridge, and a big electric grill. Want to seal everything out? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Inside we've got a saloon, which is a nice comfortable space. We've got a big TV and good sound system in here, so if there are any sports events or anything that people want to watch. We can open these sliding doors up so we can create a kind of large open area. Um, everyone can get around and watch the whole thing. So this is the master on this boat, it's spacious with a long um, head with double sink. So this is the second biggest cabin on the boat. Um, all the cabins have got lots of storage, so either under the bed or in cupboards by the doors. So, and we can even put big roller cases under the bed if we need to. So these upstairs cabins, even though they're a little smaller, are because of the view and the access to the front, they're in kind of a little private seating area, are really popular. We found about 20% of our guests, um, the lead booker, will choose these cabins over master. Um, and when we are not fully booked, they'll often use these as kind of a day, day bed. So they'll set up, sit here, read a book, and they can look out as they do it. Nice. So you don't need to go up or down any stairs to access these cabins. So if people have mobility issues, they're really good. So they're both the same, they're just a mirror of each other. There's a lot of storage there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. There's under the bed as well. 
well. Mm -hmm. have it in the club. And then if you need it to, there's also storage under the bed, so if you've got big hard cases, we often put them under the bed. Cool. Yeah, that's good to know. <laughs> we try to discourage yeah. them from bringing them, but when they do... So that's cool. another fridge. Nice. Okay. And that's the crew cabin right there. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Beware of the dog. Getting prepared for the uh, cocktail competition over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is Is he <laughs> All right. I think we got it all right. Yeah. Yeah.